What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Roy, Avianus, and Super Hero, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel, and today, another four-part mini tutorial series where I teach you how to do a combination. This one's actually a continuation of the Avatar workout routine that I just posted on Saturday, so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out, but this is going to be breaking down the hurricane kick that I did in that video. The hurricane kick is not a very easy kick to get, it takes a lot of spinning, a lot of balance, and a lot of uh, dexterity. So if you don't get it immediately, don't worry. Um, that's what this series is for, is breaking it down step by step each day so that by the end on Thursday, we can put it all together and make it nice and smooth and a great looking kick that you can do to show off for your friends. By the way, I'm doing this whole air bending week starting on Saturday and continuing all the way through Thursday because I'm working on an awesome Avatar live action indie film. And so if you are interested in the, what you just saw and even more behind the scenes and eventually when the series comes out, the full actual series, definitely check out the links down in the description below because that's where I leave all the links. <laughs> but without further ado, let's run that intro. Alright, so the, for the first tutorial in our mini-series, we're going to start off with the easiest kick, the kick that is the base of all the others, which is the regular backspin kick. So, I'm going to do it at an angle so you can see a little bit better of what I'm doing. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to focus on turning your body, but you have to turn your body in order. It goes head, chest, and legs. That is the order in which you turn so when you turn for your back spinning kick because you obviously have to turn you're going to turn your head all the way around until you can see your target again once you can see your target you're going to continue to turn a little bit until your chest faces that same target your chest has to face your target after your head then your back leg or when you turn what is your front leg is going to do a rainbow with the top of the rainbow being at your target. Just like that. It's just like lifting your leg and drawing a rainbow with the top of the rainbow being your target. Now I'm gonna do it again, facing you this time so you can see it from a different angle. Turning your head all the way until you see your target. And then turning your chest until you see your target. And then using that leg to draw a rainbow with the top of your rainbow being right at your target's head. Now, a big thing you're gonna wanna make sure is that when you're spinning, you don't stay too tight. It's really easy to get your legs too wide and get all the way in this. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. It's really easy to get your legs too wide and get all the way in this kind of stance where you're off balance and trying to, to barely stand up. Let your legs rotate, let them twist, let them get a little closer together. I'm not standing in some deep, you know, earth bending style horse dance i'm up i'm light just like an airbender watch my legs watch how close they stay together when you turn your legs actually get closer together so you can turn more efficiently and all the way before you do your kick so all together it'll look something like this going forward at an angle and notice, I keep my hands up during that entire time because keeping your hands out will throw you off balance and having your hands down outside of your guard will help you get hit in the face. So just, that's a good habit to have regardless. All right, sorry about that. I can't actually do these kicks with the glasses on because they fly off and I don't want them to break. But with, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is gonna be a four part video breaking down this kick into the three separate sections and then putting it together at the end. So if that interests you, make sure you subscribe and hit the like notification button so you don't miss when the next episode posts. Uh, but 
for your information it'll be tomorrow so uh definitely be ready for it hope you guys are practicing um if you are practicing tag me on instagram or tag me on tiktok or wherever you do it because i love seeing you guys and i might actually make a video of all the people that have learned this kick with me during this series so uh if that interests you yet tag me on my social medias are linked down below and at modern underscore ninja 232 on instagram and modern ninja on tiktok so if again if that interests you definitely try it out but don't forget to like subscribe comment and do all the different youtube stuff because that is super helpful for youtube and the algorithms and all that stuff but until next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out.